Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This is one I've wanted to do for ages and I had to actually figure it out this morning. Um, it's these optical illusion um, Penrose triangles, mathematical illusions, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and this is one of the most common ones, this never ending weird loop triangle. So we're going to learn how to draw this. Um, Colour wise, I'm using the Adobe, Adobe Colour Themes and if you click Explore, and this one's called Sea Waves, so you just click these three things here, three little dots, and add to swatches, and then it should appear down in the bottom of your swatches. So I've set my artboard to 3840 by 2160 pixels. Make them whatever size you want, it's just practicing if you want to do the exact one that I'm doing, that those are the sizes. Background, I've just drawn a rectangle um, and coloured it the lightest colour on sea waves. Um, you can lock that one down by pressing Command 2 and then we can get drawing. Right. I've got a new artboard here just so we can do that. So that's my background, this light sort of sea blue colour. Um, I've got that selected and I'm going to press Command 2 to lock it in place. First thing we're going to do is draw some lines. So with the pen tool, you roughly want one of these angles here. Okay, so you want a, it doesn't matter what the angle is um, because we're going to use all the same. So I've roughly drawn a line like that. So press P with the pen tool, draw a dot, and another dot, and then on your fill color, you want it to be nothing. So hit the uh, the one with none. Hit your stroke colour and hit red. So I need to bump up the weight of the stroke. If you do just click stroke and make it a couple of pixels. So we've got our angle and that's it. So we'll move this down onto the upboard that we're working. And we want seven lines, okay? So this is the best that we want seven equally spaced lines. So we're gonna click this, drag, hold, alt, and shift to about there. Now, we've done one, and we want all the others to be spaced the same way. So there's a quick shortcut, you just press Command D. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, we've got seven. Okay, and we're gonna select all of those and press Command C, which is copy, and then Command Shift V, which pastes it in place. Then we're gonna find the Reflect tool, double click, and we're gonna reflect it. Hit OK. Sorry, we're gonna reflect it vertically hit ok now we need to move this up so just click and drag and hold shift so it'll move it up in place and we want to get it lined up to this one here so if you if you zoom right in and press command y well i think i've pretty much got that on the nose yeah so command y to go back to your other view and this is your guide. This is how you're gonna draw this shape, okay? We'll bring this one over. You guys are gonna be looking at this. So if you look at this corner here, that's gonna be this corner, and we're gonna work from there. So let's select all these lines and press Command 2. That's gonna lock them in place. Select your pen tool, and you can see all these crazy pink little guidelines. If you go up to window, sorry, view, you want smart guides on. And this is going to act as a guide um, with these um, smart guides on. It's easier for them to snap to each point. You want that one as well. So view, snap to point. Okay, so let's start. We're going to hit here and it, you don't have to hold anything down. It will just snap into that point where it says intersect. So intersect there. Then we're going to go down to this one. Hit there. And then we need to go all the way down to this one, I think, and hit there. Then we go up, hit there, oop. I think I'm gonna do it, hit there, all the way over to there, and back to the start. Wait for that little circle, and then you know you've got a shape. Now at the minute we've got a red stroke, so we can get rid of that, and we can hit the top one. We go down to our C view colors, and we're gonna use this, the, the first three colors, so the lightest one there, that's already got our shape. P, 
pen tool, you're going to go to this corner, make sure it's on intersect, and drag it down to that one, and across, and then up to that one, and then over, and draw out the rest of the shape. Wait for the circle, and complete that shape. And we want the middle colour. And then we're going to draw the darkest colour. So start here, go across, make sure it intersects. Down, over, down, over, and up. Make sure the circle, and then hit that darkest colour. And that is it. And you can do all sorts of things with these once you've got them. You can, you can repeat them. Um, make mosaics and all sorts of things and that is how to draw it if you like please subscribe and hit the like button i'll see you again soon cheers